Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to Scholar Dondo. Scholar is a YouTuber, presenter and personal trainer. Since the age of 14, she's been documenting her fitness journey, training herself and inspiring everyone to lead a healthy lifestyle. You can find Scholar on her social hubs, posting fitness routines which usually involve lots of fun dancing. So let's see if she can get our critter fitter. Meet Tropidacris Chris Tata, or as we know him, Chris. Chris is a giant red-winged grasshopper. Giant by name, giant in nature. These goliaths are the largest grasshopper species in the world. Let's hope Scholar has done some weight training on her face. Oh my gosh, I think I'm pleased to be here, but I don't know yet because I don't know what to expect. How are you feeling? <laughs> I am feeling genuinely nervous. Like I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit shaky. I'm a little... Really? Okay. okay. <laughs> have you got that positive mental attitude going on though? Do you know what? Usually I try and be positive and have a good mindset, but right now I just don't know if it's going to work today. It's not one of those days. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> and what do you think about this thing sat here on the table? Um, I'm just getting like not the greatest vibes from this area. I don't know what to expect. And I just feel like I've just got the serious fear of the unknown. You never know. There might not be anything in here today. Really? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I think there's definitely going to be something in there. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any bugs that you really don't want us to put on your face? So anything hairy okay. is a big no. And anything slimy, like, please, just don't do that to me. I mean, I feel that rules out most of the animal kingdom. It does, so doesn't it? Yep. You give us slim pickings there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should we find out what it is? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Scholar, it's time to meet Chris. <laughs> Both of them or just like one? All three. No, no. Oh <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're just gonna have the big one. We'll give oh, you the... I didn't even see the big one. I was looking at those. So these guys are called giant grasshoppers, also called Tropidacris cristata. It's very big. Like I don't know why I was being so optimistic. I was like, it's not gonna be a big one. It's just gonna be like, you know. So these guys come from South America, in forested areas, everywhere from southern Mexico to northern Argentina. Um, and also on the island of Trinidad. I have no words. Like, I don't even know what to say. I am, I think I'm, le I'm legit shaking now. <laughs> I am literally, <laughs> oh my goodness. So we now have to tell you some safety precautions. So first of all, she might possibly excrete on your face. Are you prepared for that happening? I am not prepared for that happening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and secondly, you might notice she's got uh, quite a few little claws on the end of her feet. So you might feel her gripping onto your face. I can do this, it's Good. totally fine. Good, because in that case, we just gotta get you to sign this little form here in case your face crumbles under the weight of this girl or anything like that. Yeah. It now means we get to put the bug on your mug and let nature take its course. So we've got some facts about Chris on the screen above you. You've got to read them nice and clearly and correctly and slowly. And the moment you get through them all, Chris can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. Oh my gosh, it better be a really good mug. It's a very good mug, I assure you. <laughs> Time for us to infest your face. <laughs> oh no. Keep that right eye closed because Chris's foot is really close to it. And then whenever you're ready, can we hear that first fact, please? These giant grasshoppers lived on Earth long before the dinosaurs. So interesting. Modern day grasshoppers descended from ancient houses that lived long before dinosaurs Wait, what did it descend from? I don't know, but she's roaming my face. You can open both your eyes now and then give us that next oh. fact. The fossil record shows that primitive grasshoppers first appeared during the carb carboniferous, ooh, a new word, period, more than 300 million years ago. Chris, you don't look a day over 200 million. <laughs> okay, ready when you are. I really hope she doesn't choose to poo right now. Tropid de Chris, Chris Tata or giant grasshoppers like Chris have a body length of about 14 centimeters and a wingspan of about 24 centimeters. Wow, she can fly. So it's Tropidat Chris Chris Tata. 
Can we hear that next fact, please? Tropodacris cristata isn't only the biggest grasshopper in the world, they are one of the largest insects in the world. I have one of the largest insects in the world on my face. When they fly, they are so big that they look like small birds. You can open your eyes now and give us that next fact. The giant red-winged grasshopper's back legs act as miniature catapults, helping them to leap up to 20 times the length of their body. If humans could jump the way grasshoppers do, we could easily leap the length of a football field. You know what, I'm pretty fit, but I definitely can't jump that far. Okay, I thought I'd get used to having her on my face, but it just doesn't feel right. Oh. Can we hear that next fact, please? Chris's forewings resemble leaves, while the hind legs have a striking bright orange coloration. Can you see all those beautiful colors right now? She's really pretty. Did you hear that, Chris? I think you're pretty. Don't forget what's at stake here, Scholar. Is it the mug? <laughs> yes, it's the mug, the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Better be the best mug that I've ever seen in my whole entire it's life. It's gonna be brilliant, I assure you. Okay, when you're ready, can we hear that next fact? Okay. Oh, I can hear her. She's making sounds. Ooh. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she just had a poop. Keep your eyes closed. Keep... No, no, no. Keep... Keep looking there. Oh, oh. Chris, we just good. fell yeah, out. We're not good. friends anymore. You're good. That's the first time that's happened. Just sort of around there. Yeah, it means she likes you. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> We are going to need to hear that last fact again, so I'm really sorry, but can we hear it again, please? Chris's forewings resemble leaves, while the hind wings have a striking bright orange coloration. Very cool. And when you're ready, can we hear that next fact? It's a bit hard because now I have trust issues between me and Chris. You've got to look on the bright side. At least it was dry poo. Please, oh! And now oh, she's just flown off. Oh, oh. On the upside, Scholar, Chris is a little bit lighter now. Doesn't feel like it. Give us that next fact, please. Before grasshoppers become adults, they are called nymphs. Is it nymphs? These kids show a warning coloration of, back, of black and yellow to show they can be toxic. Okay, please tell me that Chris isn't toxic. <laughs> are you worried about her tail hovering over your eye again? Yup, because last time that happened, she got a bit too comfortable. <laughs> Let's do this. Carry on, please. Grasshoppers stridulate. Stridulate? Is that right? Stridulate. Yeah, you got it. Which simply means that they rub their back legs against their forewings to make music. Okay, I honestly wish I could do that. That's pretty cool. Grasshoppers also crepitate. This is where males and sometimes females make loud snapping or crackling sounds with their wings while they fly. Did you hear that when she flew off? Uh, do you know what? I was doing a lot of screaming. She was doing a lot of flying. <laughs> Your mind was on other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We think the snapping sounds are made when the membranes between their veins are suddenly popped taut. Can we hear the final fact now, please, Scholar? In certain parts of the world, these grasshoppers are eaten as food. Oh, poor Chris. <laughs> they are often dried, jellied, oh, keep your ears closed, you don't need to hear this, Chris. Roasted and dipped in honey or ground into a meal. How do you feel about that? Would you like to eat Chris? No, I think we're friends now. I mean, we still have trust issues, but I just would never do that to her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scholar, you've done really, really well. You'll be pleased to know I can now take Chris off your face. Yay! Scholar, how was that experience for you? Honestly, I, I don't know how to describe it. All I can say is that it wasn't a pleasant experience. It looks like she's about to <laughs> jump at me right now. <laughs> so why wasn't it a pleasant experience? What, what didn't you enjoy? Just take a guess. Were you there? Do you <laughs> remember what happened? Was it that certain incident? <laughs> Yep, she definitely took a poop on my face. <laughs> she did a big old dump on your face there. Yes, she did. Did you actually see the, the poo? No. It's, it's I pretty... closed my eyes pretty fast, but I could feel how weighty it was on my face. It was so. pretty sizable. We, we actually have it here if you, if you want to see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe that was on my face. <sighs> and at one point, Chris actually took off. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> How was that? What did that feel like? At that point, I had a lot of trust issues between me and Chris. I didn't know what she was going to do. So I was like, is she going to poop on me again? But luckily she's just flying off. So it just felt like, like she gave a little bit of like a push. Okay. And then I just felt like a gust as she just flew away. And I was like, yes, she's <laughs> off my face. <laughs> For now. Well, Chris, congratulations on making it through Bugface. And thank you for exploring Scholar's Mush here. And Scholar, you did actually really, really well considering what happened. Which means, of course, you get to win that legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Uh, thank you? Do you like it? So I, I did all of that for... Yeah. Oh, we actually have this for you to take home as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. <laughs>